ase ja panssaritraitit. Okei, Nirnhound. Puuttuu sitä, mä en oo vaan viittynyt hankkia. No niin, täällähän on kokous menossa. Valitettavasti. Good to see you, friend. But something is wrong. While you and Lady Arabel were off, we scoured Gonfalon Bay for signs of the Ascendant Order, and we found nothing. Not even one of their damn pamphlets. They're up to something. They are up to something. Vähän nostin tuota volyymia nyt, että... Good to see you, friend, but something... I knew it! That explains why we haven't been able to find any of their knights around Gonfalon Bay. The Ascendant Magus must have gathered all of his forces to participate in the attack. What do you need us to do? Marriage song. Hmm. The best place to hide a vessel on that part of the island is Jury's Cove, north of the Navir docks. Let me guess. Nereid's song is an Ascendant Order ship. You want to use it to slip past their fleet and rescue the Alliance leaders. Uh, you're Here, the I'll mark the cove's location on your map. As for a crew, well, you're looking at your captain. As for the rest, I'll see who I can drum up. Can't that's one of the captain is good, but two is even better, yes? Make that three. I can't ask you to join me in this. You are not asking. Zaji is telling. Looks like I found a crew. <laughs> Head to Jury's Cove, friend. We'll collect Lady Arabelle and meet you there. Peristää ja pois tuosta tekstien tieltä, niin vähän ehkä hauskempaa noin. Ihan vaan niinku yksityisyyttä suojatakseni, niin kuin peitän tuon chatin tosta noin, niin ei kavereiden nimet näy siinä. Oh, hello, dear. Captain Colleen was about to tell us her plan. Why don't you ask her how she wants to proceed? The ship looks seaworthy. We just need to get past those Ascendant Order knights. <sighs> Always with the plans. I usually just wing it. Yes, I don't want to. 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 I don't niin sanotusti niin kuin muuttua lennossa. Mitä lähteekö seuraavaksi housut? Viimeksi lähti paiva. Looks like the ascendant order is almost done loading the ship. If we want to seize the Nereid song, it's now or never. Cut the mooring lines. Start with the dock on the left and deal with any knights that get in your way. While they're busy with you, the rest of us will go around to the right and board Nereid song. We'll take care of the crew. Once you've cut all three mooring lines, climb aboard. We'll do the rest. And don't pull your punches with those ascendant ordered bastards. I lost a lot of good sailors when the spearhead went down in their storm. Get ready, all of you. Once things begin, we'll need to move fast.
Jos nää sai sitten uuden laivankin saman tien. Give the word, friend, and we'll set sail. Nereid's song is ours, Lady Aramel. Excellent. Set course for All Flags Islet. There's no time to waste. Yes, dear, we saw. But where are the Alliance leaders? Friend, let's talk. I wanted to get the Alliance leaders safely behind the wall. I wanted to get the Alliance leaders safely behind the wall to Memorial Hall. Or perhaps even spirit them away on the ship. But I doubt we'd succeed at that trick a second time. You need to find the leaders and get them to Memorial Hall. Another relic of the All Flags Navy and the site of the peace talks. The Mages Guild cast protective wards around the hall to ensure the safety of the delegates. They should hold for a time. Take this medallion. You can't enter the hall without it. Defending the castle as best we can. We need to hold back the Ascendant Order as long as possible until Lord Bakaro arrives with help. If the Magus gets past us, you must protect the Alliance leaders. We'll buy you all the time we can. <sighs> boy, boy. We need to protect the Alliance leaders. Where are they? Scattered, I'm afraid. Queen Irene was with us, but there was a great rumble and screams from below. She ran to help. Go, my dear. Make sure Queen Irene gets to Memorial Hall. Jakan, help me sort things out here. We must hold the castle until help arrives. Täytyy etsiä, kun ne on juossu ympäriinsä taas. Tänne on jo hyökätty. Jaha. Ja totta kai se tappelee yksin täällä. in Rogue knights and their druid allies inside the castle. They may have the numbers, but I say let them come. Together we will make them pay dearly for their victory. As glorious as a fight to the death would be, I suppose I should try to survive. <laughs> My subjects need me. But the others went in search of their own battles. Prince Ernskar headed up to the battlements. Track him down while I clear a path to the hall. Find Ernskar, then look for Emmerich. He said something about dealing with the storm. We will gather at Memorial Hall, but understand this. I have no intention of hiding behind wards while others die to protect me. This queen fights her own battles. <laughs> like a badass. The stories I've heard about Queen Irene are incredible. 
I wonder if even half of them are true. Valitettavasti taitaa kyllä olla totta. Ainakin puolet. The dock will be overrun. We have to do something. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. That ship approaching the pier is full of Ascendant Order reinforcements. We need to do something. Not while we're all that stands between victory and death. If I abandon the battlements now, we'll be caught like wolves in a trap. I need you to deal with the vermin scaling the walls while I prepare the ballista to attack that approaching ship. Good. Then I can use this ballista to destroy that ship. Just get down to the dock and keep these rats at bay long enough for me to smash those reinforcements out of the water. Then we can fall back to the hall. We went down to the courtyard to deal with the Elder Tide Druids. Can you believe they allied with the Ascendant Order? They're feeding this storm. You should help him. After you help me. All I need is a moment to clearly align the ballista. Keep them from scaling the walls, and I'll put this siege weapon to good use. Okay. Aika lähelle omia. Hirveä screenshottaaminen tässä näin on. Okei, se oli aika nätisti hoideltu. Tästä lumikanin kaltaan ei mitään kovinkaan ihmeellistä. Ihan 
Hucky Huck, give up with me. That time I'll be dead, you'll win us. These evil druids are feeding the storm. Disrupt their ritual, friend. That's better. Now it's a fair fight. Hours, friend, but we shouldn't linger too long. We need a solid plan. Well fought, friend. If you're here, Lady Arabel must be nearby. Now, what does she have up her sleeve? If I've learned anything in my long association with Lady Arabel, it's that she always has a plan in the works. Ah, yes, the protected hall. I thought Lady Arabel's arrangements were overly cautious. Events, however, reveal the wisdom of her actions. As much as I dislike hiding, we must deny our enemies an easy victory. Do you have an invitation medallion? Siis tää, jos, jos tää niinku Lady Arabelle päätyy, päätyy tässä näin petturiksi, äh, saat, saattaa kyllä lentää näppäimistö seinään, koska siis... Then we should make so, use so of the niin, defenses niin, she prepared. I'm sure she plans to launch a counter-attack just like she did during Ratsa's siege of Wayrest. Why? She... Ugh, never mind. A tale for another time. Okay. The door to the hall is on the south wall. Let me see now, Nick. Fills my heart with pride to know the High King knows something of our Quickly, deeds. Into the hall. Use your medallion. It's the only way past the wards. As much as this galls us, this is the prudent course. The Ascendant Order can't breach you. You think yourselves safe? I will bring this castle down on top of you. Don't say see the poor of us. the castle I've just about had it with this ascendant magus to the courtyard friend join me Kelly basta hyökkäys it will take the battle months en on kaksi menee tonne ja Ja, sen 
tää on toi pallista mukana. semmosia niinku ihan niinku heikkoja nää allianssien johtajat We cut down the Magus, but the Lord is still out there somewhere. Yeah, okay, good luck. Lord, you'll be a pushed to some. We will deliver the same fate to his Lord. Our friend here made this victory possible. Indeed, they got us to work together. Amazing. Now let's go find Lady Aragorn. The Ascendant Order made a mistake when they picked a fight with the two of us. We will face this enemy together. Well struck, my friend. The Magus has fallen. 
What say we head outside and meet up with you? Ja Elder Scrollsin maailmassa kolme on hyvä numero. Voimakas maaginen numero. There you are, dear. And with the Alliance leaders too. I assume you had something to do with the Ascendant Order's retreat? I admit I feared all was lost, as more of those rogue knights pressed onto shore. Then the castle's siege weapons unloaded on their ships, and the dark storm suddenly abated. Tell me, what actually happened in Memorial Hall? I knew you were special the moment I saw you, my dear. The Ascendant Magus hoped to topple throne, yet instead his threat brought the Alliance leaders together. You showed them worth fighting for. Take this with my deepest thanks. Oh. Nothing about this peace conference has gone as planned, but the Ascended Order might have given us something we didn't have before, a reason for the Alliance leaders to cooperate. Can I ask one more favor of you, dear? Lord Bacaro needs to hear about our victory at All Flags. He can stop mustering a counterforce, at least for now. Thanks to you, Count Amar's plan to decapitate the alliances is set. The leaders are safe and back to their usual bickering. I suspect Count Amar's defeat cost the Ascendant Order most of their strength. It will take time for them to recover, which gives us a chance to salvage the peace talks. Bring the news to Lord Bakaro, then meet me back at Mandrake Manor. Lord Bakaro should be at Steadfast Manor. Do hurry before he strikes off with an army of hired knights to join a battle that's already over. Besides, it's not often I get to send someone good news. No, but I'm not surprised. He and the Steadfast don't have a standing army. I imagine he's still at his manor sending missives across High Isle in an attempt to recruit knights willing to aid us. Go tell him he can Eli stop. The threat is over for now. Lordy. While the conference site is repaired, I'll secure them in Gonfalon Bay. The captains and Koska can watch over the royals and Valesia, and we'll have time to send for a new fighter skilled delegate. I'm surprised this turned out as well as it did. That's a difficult question. I knew we had to try. Actually, I'm a bit embarrassed. Lord Bakara trusted me to protect the conference, and I let him down. The Ascendant Order was one step ahead of me all along. I've never failed like this before. I didn't notice how powerful the Ascendant Order had become. And I should have sniffed out Count Amad's treachery. The clues were there. Wealth, grievances, arcane skill. Thanks to you, we salvaged the situation. And I can learn from my mistakes. Like Prince Ernska, I had Captain Suzo commandeer a siege engine. That sent a few of their ships to the bottom. Then when the shaking stopped and the storm clouds parted, the remaining vessels fled. After you defeated the Magus, I suppose. Surely we're done now. I could use a drink and a meal. It must have been tough getting captured by convicts on Aminus. <laughs> Good point, Iran. But do remember, he's only a prince. Raise your hand if you care what the High King thinks. Uh. Thank you, Sarji. <laughs> Sarji cares. There we go, hold on. <laughs> Wrong royal, Sarji. We're with the Queen, remember? Now, where did we leave that scow we stole? What? Did no one tie up the ship before we ran into battle? Uh-huh. Oh, see that as well. Ah, Lady Arabelle's associate. What news do you bring me? I've been sending messengers throughout the countryside, but so far I've only managed to gather a handful of knights. I was about to send them the order to head out when I saw you approaching. That's excellent news. My congratulations to you and Lady Arabelle. I'll still send the knights, but now their orders will be to shore up the castle's defenses, not rush into a war. But pray tell, where are the delegates now? Of course. All Flag's castle must be half in ruins after what I can only imagine was a fierce and costly battle. I'll get with Lady Arabelle, and we'll thank the delegates for their patience. 
Don't be modest, friend. From what I already know of your exploits, I can only imagine the heroics you demonstrated at All Flags Castle. Inform Lady Arabelle. We'll gather at Gonfalon Palace to celebrate your courage and the safety of the delegates. How often does someone get to save three realms in the same day? Your actions are an inspiration. I wonder, though, did the Ascendant Magus inadvertently help us by attacking the royals? We shall see. Go, tell Arabelle. She'll make the arrangements. Demar de Fort? Astonishing! I was certain the Magus was going to turn out to be one of the Monards. Uh. Tell me. What of this mysterious Ascendant Lord you encountered beneath Castle Navir? Did you learn anything about him? Cowards like that let others do the fighting for them. I imagine he's in hiding, fearing exposure and seeking a way to rebuild his forces. I suspect the Lord will remain in the shadows for now. Stay vigilant. Inform me if you learn anything more. Did they now? I can't wait to hear the entire story. I, I am surprised they didn't make use of the wards protecting Memorial Hall, though. Uh, we prepared the site to keep the delegates safe throughout the peace talks. Yes, I saw his power firsthand at Castle Navir. And Valesia explained that he somehow drew power from the volcanic vents that permeate the islands. A reckless use of magic with little regard for consequences. Where did he learn that, I wonder? Welcome, my dear. What news do you bring from Steadfast Manor? Were you able to meet with Lord Vaccaro, dear? What did he say when you told him about our victory? Hmm. An excellent idea. Lord Vaccaro knows it's vital to bring the delegates back to the table. After recent events, their faith in diplomacy might well be suspect. But a party, that's something they can all agree on. Can I impose on you again, dear? Tell the delegates Lord Vaccaro dearly hopes they can attend a gathering at Gonfalon Palace. If anyone hesitates, use your charms to convince them to join us. Meanwhile, I'll throw something together. Meet me at Gonfalon Palace when you're done. Royals, no concern for their own safety. They each went off in search of a diversion. High King Emmerich to the temple, Queen Irene to stroll the harbor, and Prince Ernstgar to the inn. I asked the sisters' guard to keep an eye on them, discreetly. These royals are a stubborn lot, or hadn't you noticed? I can never predict what they will do from one moment to the next. Remind them these peace talks are imperative. If that doesn't work, tell them the other two accepted your invitation. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty... Useful trick. Sometimes a few untruths are required to grease the wheels of diplomacy. The royals will see right through the ruse, of course, but they'll play along. All they need is a reason to believe that this isn't a waste of their time. Leave that to me, dear. I'll send Jakan to round up our three brave captains and put them to work. It'll be all hands on deck, as it were, but I think we can manage. You just make sure the Alliance leaders attend the party. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I mean, I mean, really bad feeling. Hello, friend. Looking for me? I've always loved the sea. Comes from growing up on Somerset, I suppose. But what can I do for you, my friend? Don't tell me there are more rogue knights threatening High Isle. <laughs> Not at the moment. A party? Just another excuse to get me and Emmerich in the same room. Well, you could oh, kiss up, well. kiss and make up. If we could face unprecedented danger together, we can probably survive sharing a few drinks and some food. Ah, uh, maybe. And where will this gala event be held? If you don't try to drink same amount, then Nords do. That's probably for the best. It's close by. And All Flags Castle was quite a mess after the battle with the Ascendant Magus. It will take Lord Bakara a considerable effort if he plans to make it ready for the conference again. Most of the belongings I brought along were lost when the perfect pants sank into the sea. I wonder if I can find any suitable attire on this island. Breton tastes leave something to be desired. What am I thinking? This outfit is perfectly fine. 
We did not yeah, it, it's not about the outfit, answer. it's who uh, is actually carrying it. We disagree on important issues, which is why diplomacy usually begins with social occasions. Banquets, balls, hunts and the like. Rarely do they involve fighting for your life, though. Uh, maybe not do. We regaled each other with tales of how we survived the shipwrecks and our adventures on Aminos. I believed Emmerich was past his prime, no longer the great hero. And Ernskar struck me as young and brash. I now have a different perspective. Magus Slayer! To what do I owe this pleasure? Have I thanked you yet for all you've done? Not just for the alliances and Lady Arabel, but for me personally. No? Well, thank you, my friend. I don't know many people who could have beaten the Ascendant Magus. But what brings you to the temple? Hmm, another royal function. I'm getting tired of those ghastly affairs in those cases I was just considering heading home. Queen Maria must be missing me terribly. Unless... Is the celebration <laughs> in my honor? It's, it's bad form to refuse such parties. I ran an Ernskar? Well, I can't allow them uh. to attend and not show up myself. And I guess I do owe them something of a debt, too. They did help us on Amanos and at All Flags Castle. All right, I'll attend Lord Bakaro's celebration. It seems I'll need to pay more attention to the sister's archipelago in the future. My negligence allowed treason to fester and bloom unchecked. That changes now. But enough grim talk. We must celebrate. I will see you at Lord Bakaro's gathering. I will need to treat that situation delicately. Until I can prove one way or another that Duchess Elea was truly ignorant of her brother's plot, I can't in good conscience reprimand the entire house. Still, I don't take treason lightly. No, but we didn't exterminate all of those order bastards, and their so-called Ascendant Lord is still loose. I have no doubt his rogue knights will rise against us again. I'll withhold judgment on the Duforts until my daggers investigate, though. The ship and raise the sail well met, friend. Come have a drink with me. After the battles we endured, I was hoping to find a celebration. Unfortunately, this inn is as dead as the elk served at the Skull King's table. Have you come to drink with me, perhaps, my friend? Well, that's a welcome bit of news. Even a party full of royals and nobles has got to be better than this place. Wait, will Emmerich and Iron be in attendance? If they decline the invitation, I probably should as well. And it seems I have no other choice. I will attend Lord Bacaro's celebration. <laughs> and if the festivities evolve into more serious conversations, perhaps I will even listen. <laughs> perhaps. I'll see you there, my friend. Uh. Wait until the Skull King hears what he missed. <laughs> Raging storms, a deadly jungle, a battle against near hopeless odds at an ancient castle. <laughs> my father is going to kick himself. Well... Maybe not about the storms. He gets sick at sea. Absolutely. He was an adventuring bard before he took the throne of Eastern Skyrim. He's not as ancient as Emmerich, and that old lion enjoyed himself uh, when we weren't almost dying, at least. I'll send a report to my father. Tell him all about it. As long as nothing else out of the ordinary happens, I'll stay. At least for a while. The weather here on High Isle is so much nicer than what we have in Windhelm. I can do without the cold and the snow for a little longer. Hey, good looking. Lord Bacaro may have proclaimed that this was a celebration for the Alliance leaders, but everyone came out to see the hero who saved All Flags Castle. I'm impressed how fast the word got around. Even if... I may have had something to do with that. Just wanted you to know, I worked it out with Lady Arabelle. She considers my debt to her paid in full. I think she may have confused me with you, but I'll take it any way I can get it. So go in and enjoy the party. I'm sure I'll see you around. I put on a few disguises, sure. And I'm glad everyone's safe, but all this hero stuff gives me a rash. I'm not supposed to attract so much attention. Anyway, Lady Arabelle wants a word with you before she starts the main event. She's waiting inside.
when she isn't calling for tea or ordering me to do some fool thing or other but, but i do not appreciate what you are implying my friend after the you saw uh -huh. well nothing happened not really nothing i want to discuss anyway lady laurent wasn't herself she was still caught up on the stifled emotions of a sea captain who had been alone for <laughs> oh must we talk about this Oh, nothing too exciting. I have lists to make, crates to pack, and Lady Laurent's collection of combs, brushes, and reach fetishes won't sort themselves. I'm sure we'll see you again. Milady appreciates your help, even if she doesn't say so. Uh -huh. Not my finest work. It seems you've been busy, my friend. Not only did you assist Stibbins and I with that unfortunate business on All Flags Islet, but it appears you aided all these notables as well. Perhaps I could hire you on full time? No. Huh. Just as well. Oh, if you don't mind, I'd rather not recall that dreadful experience. You have no idea what it's like to have a foul-mouthed, libidinous sea captain inside your head. Although, I must say, the feelings he left me with were rather... Enticing. Uh -huh. I still have a few last things to take care of on All Flags Islet before the peace talks can proceed. After that, who can say? I go where I'm needed, and Stibbins follows faithfully in my wake. Someone must carry my personals, after all. Uh -huh. Well, that goes without saying. I am Tamriel's most celebrated treasure hunter and author, after all. I may stick around for the peace talks. Or I heard about some strange happenings in the Telvanni Peninsula. Oh. Or Haberfell. I haven't been there in ages. Telvanni Pen Peninsula would be a great place to actually visit. Or have a DLC. More Dark Elves. Yay! That, that would be actually pretty okay. After so many challenges and setbacks, it's hard to believe all the delegates are finally together in this chamber. Except Quentin Geralt, of course. I can't support the choice he made. But I hope he is at peace now. Well, the guild master of fighter skills is actually the Aedra worshipper, so... That's, that's not terrible, far, far from the truth, so... A great day, friend. Despite the Ascendant Order's every effort, the delegates to Lord Bakaro's conference survived and are still willing to talk peace. You and Lady Arabelle made this possible. And sadly, no. She will never sail again. But several Ascendant Order vessels were abandoned after the fight at All Flags Islet. Since the Order wrecked my ship, I hope to claim one of theirs for compensation. I recruit and refit here in Gonflin Bay. I do not know how long Prince Ernskar plans to stay. But it would be my honor to return him safely home when the time comes. Until then, I promised Lady Arabelle I would help protect all the delegates. I understand we have you to thank for High King Emmerich's safety. And for the other leaders, of course. I am appalled by the part Damard played in this plot. I promise you, House Dufort will do everything in our power to set right his wrongful deeds. And, and she was actually investigating the robber knights. You rescued the Alliance leaders. I thought you were amazing when you helped me back at Broke Rock Mine. But friend, you're incredible. Where better to find a ship than in Gonfalon Bay? I'll get passage on one of them. Until then, I'm helping people. Yes. I started by singing rats off a galley. It's a small start, yeah, but now they can magic. help me with their problems. I'm making a name for myself. It may not be much yet, but I crafted it myself, and it's my name, not my father's. 
And now Pedestrian needs to actually explain why we don't have a singing magic in, in later mm -hmm. games. I'm going to enjoy myself. Maybe try some new foods. It's nice being at a party and not having to worry about being called on to perform. After that, I'm going to battle monsters. Solve real problems. Like you. Huh. We go to the press. Look at all these fine people committing diplomacy together. <laughs> and they say it is all because of you, my bestest friend. You must tell Rigard how you did it sometime. Oh, very good. Tanila and Ulganar said my diplomacy was so strong, they didn't need to be diplomatized anymore. Uh -huh. They told me I could go commit diplomacy on new people and <laughs> make more diplomacy. Ah. Everybody in town, sailors, merchants, fishmongers, dock workers, beggars, anyone I could catch. People like you when you buy them drinks. Although, I'm not really sure how that helps Abomar's side. Uh -huh. Finally, Queen Irene is where she belongs. Zaji is content. Zaji could be content to gaze upon Queen Irene all day, in fact. Long sunny days and tender nights filled with song, drink, and love. Or so Zaji hopes. Since Queen Irene has no one else to look after her in these islands, Zaji hereby appoints himself the task of catering to her every need. Uh, that is a task better left in Kaskar's claws. Who will look after Queen Irene if not Zaji? And Lady Arabelle insisted we help guard the delegates anyway, so what is this one to do? Zaji can only hope his devotion is rewarded. I owe you my thanks, Walker. I found all the Ascendant Order Knights I could hope for during that fight on All Flags Islet. I can finally say, my crewmates from the Perfect Pounds have been avenged. That depends on Queen Irene. We're staying in Gonfalon Bay as long as she is, but that suits me fine. We've got a new ship and a new crew to break in. And I'll be keeping an eye on Zaji, as always. A few days ago, I was sitting in a dank crypt, wondering when the Ascendant Order was going to slit my throat and feed me to the slaughterfish. Didn't see anything like this in my future, that's for certain. I'm not going anywhere until High King Emmerich finishes up what he came here to do. That's fine with me, though. It'll give me time to sign on a crew and put Nariad's song in proper shape. Lady Arabelle insisted, and the Duchess doesn't seem opposed. Still haven't decided whether to rename her. There's a lot of luck tied up in a ship's name. Oh, and while I'm here, I agreed to protect the delegates. I could use the extra gold. Are you surprised to see a simple sea captain like me in the company of aristocracy? It seems my service to the Dominion lifted the Prowler's name to Queen Irene's ears. Go speak to Lady Arabelle. We'll catch up after. Ugh. I asked that sour cat to come and thank you, but he turned me down. Something about needing to count the crates another time. He never stops working that one. But I know for a certainty that he's grateful for everything you've done. Wherever I please. That's the joy of the sailing life. We have a few jobs lined up. Sailors must eat after all. But I think we can afford some shore leave. And Queen Irene asked to talk later. I sense more dangerous cargo in the near future. The meeting of the delegates is the closest we've come to peace. I don't understand the motivations of anyone who tries to stop it. Fortunately, they have you here to protect them. I believe Lady Arabelle wishes to talk about that very thing. Returning to normal thanks to you. The symptoms of Vera Lane's experiments have faded from our patients. Now, they can focus on the conditions that originally brought them to me. That will be its own struggle, but one we're trained for. Oh, of course. As long as this horrible war rages, I will help heal the injured. And I believe in Lord Vicaro's dream. Learning about the lives of our enemies offers the best path to peace.
Excellent! I see all three of our royal guests are in attendance. And Lady Arabelle has worked her usual magic to create a suitable setting for the occasion. <laughs> that woman's competence is positively uncanny. I see you've convinced our royal guest to come to our little gathering. Well done, dear. Now for the tricky part. Persuading them to stay for Lord Bokaro's talks. After so many perils, I suppose I couldn't blame them if they decided to leave. Excellent, dear. You saved Emmerich and the others from the Ascended Order and ended the threat of the Magus. Plus, you salvaged the talks and restored the hope for peace. Take this. This is your day as much as anyone's. I have to address the crowd. Hey, I didn't think you could get more powerful. We're here to celebrate the coming together of three great leaders. And to show our appreciation for a hero who saved the delegates and kept our hopes for peace alive. On behalf of Lord Vaccaro and the Society of the Steadfast, I ask our honored guests to enjoy the celebration. The Old Mary Dominion thanks our hero and promises to participate when the talks resume. The Ebon Heart Pact wholeheartedly agrees. As does the Daggerfall Covenant. Three cheers for our hero and for Lord Vaccaro! Well said, High Queen. And well said, Queen and Prince. Let the celebration begin. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it the moment I saw you, dear. This one has spirit. This one has the heart of a hero. Not too unlike what Emmerich saw when he first looked at me. You know I appreciate all you've done, my friend. You can call on me for help whenever you need. No rest for the weary, dear. I need to help Lord Vaccaro restore All Flag's castle for the peace talks, improve security, figure out what other traitors beside Count Demard are lurking about. And of course, I need to keep the delegates safe. Not right now. The captains and Costa have agreed to help guard the delegates, but the rest is all paperwork and supervision. When the peace talks get underway, I'll send for you, if you're still interested in helping, of course. No pressure, dear. An excellent answer. I must write that down. I expect that my notes will make an excellent basis for the next investigative okay. novel. I must send them off to the author at once. Let's just say the author is a very dear friend of mine. Uh -huh. I would even go so far as to admit I know her as well as I know myself. Uh -huh. And that is quite positively all I intend to share on this topic. Now go mingle and accept the adoration of the crowd. Fighting alongside each other? All well and good. Attending a party together? Sure, with civilized people. But these peace talks? If Lord Bakaro is committed to continuing down this path, I'll follow. I don't hold out much hope, though. What do I look like, a soothsayer? All I know is that peace has powerful enemies. Every day, people tell me that if we press harder, we can make good on the blood and treasure we've spent. Dictate terms from a position of strength. It distresses me. I'm afraid I do. If I decide to ignore them and hold my ground, there's no promise I, Ren and Yorin, can do the same. Peace is only possible when everyone sees there's no more to be gained from war. Still, if others are willing to try, so am I. Fills my heart with pride to know the High King knows something of our deeds. <laughs> we won the day, my friend, and I learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes the enemy of my enemy is my friend, or at least a helpful acquaintance. And if the peace talks do go on, I will do my best to negotiate in good faith. Who knows? Will I smelt in the cookpot? That's a certainty. But the thoughts that run through the minds of the rulers of Tamriel, those cannot be fathomed by even the most brilliant sage. But I will send word to my father, ask for his advice. Mostly that he wasn't with us on Amanos or at All Flag's castle. He didn't fight side by side with the lion and the eagle. 
My father doesn't expect much from these talks. I'm not so sure. If the talks do take place, I'd love to surprise him. I think I can bear this Breton paradise a little longer. Consider it my way of acknowledging everything you did for us. For me. If you could go out of your way to save three foolish royals, then I can try to find common ground with my enemies. There's always a chance. As long as Lord Vaccaro can finalize the necessary arrangements, we have an opportunity to put an end to terrible suffering. What sort of queen would I be if I did not do everything in my power to see this through? I must assume so. Why else would they be here? They are honorable leaders, despite our differences and the terrible war we're engaged in. I believe they want what is best for their realms as well as mine. Beyond that, we shall have to wait and see. You know, Queen Iren seems like the kind of person I'd like to get an ale with. <laughs> Let's see. Um, story quests are all done. Yeah, there's a couple caves I haven't explored. One dungeon, public dungeon, apparently. Volcanic vents and bird bosses. And apparently books are still missing. And more sky shards. So, first first thing, I'll, I'll comment with, with the English. Uh, so, this was pretty okay uh, as, a, as a DLC. But apparently they have decided that they are splitting every story to two pieces. So basically, at the, at the start of the year, they, may, they are making first first DLC that comes out in uh, June. And, and for the Christmas there, there will be a second part of the of the DLCs and this has so far worked pretty okay but um, uh, the first part is usually much more detailed and second part is, is like continuation of the story and, and uh, sometimes it works well so Blackwood was li really last year uh, it was really okay because it had like this area from the Oblivion, uh, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, and then there was, the, was this uh, area of the of the real Ob Oblivion, meaning Deadlands and uh, Fargrave. And uh, the both were like kind of kind of okay, but I felt that they were maybe a bit of lack of creativity for the for the latter part of the. Uh, that, that year's story, but yeah, sure. Okay, the bad guy wasn't catch, wasn't catch. We didn't get the um, as ended order uh, leader. We got the we got his second in command basically. So there's lots of story to, to be told. Now we are told that okay, the peace talks will con continue. Let's see what happens. It's going to be a uh, like political int intrigue and and other stuff like that. We are promised that there will be no uh, save the world kind of stuff, and this uh, DLC kind of kind of filled the promise that we didn't get uh, save the world uh, from Daedric Guard or something uh, event. But still, we don't have a like much in the in the way of knowledge how, how this sto story will play out like there's this mysterious volcano and other stuff island is in this archipelago so we don't know why the druids are at the, at the ascended lord side and stuff like that and if if the slots are actually involved there were zero indication of that but it's it's still possibility so yeah well, we'll, we'll wait, wait and see. I, I think this was okay. This was okay. It kept the mystery for for a longest time, which is a feat of its own. Uh, the map was okay. It it wasn't super interesting, but then again, a bit exp expanding uh, Britons a bit, and more like this kind of Caribbean setting was was pretty pretty fun. So well, I'm I'm reasonably happy. With, with this uh, DLC, so we'll we'll end the end the game here. Uh,
continue something else uh, in, in ne next week there's a loads of games I need to play so I'll return to Elder Scrolls Online when, when there's new DLC coming it has been quite okay anyway thanks for watching kiitos katsomisesta in, in Finnish and I hope we I hope you will watch all other other films if you are watching this at YouTube please like and perhaps subscribe otherwise the algorithm will not remember of me being a real thing so it, it helps a lot and it actually YouTube actually re need, needs a lot of people to show, show the finger up and actually actually watch otherwise the it's not going to give space to the small small uh, video makers and and gamers so anyway that's that's that uh it's pretty hot here <laughs> hot summer still and uh, well now it's now it's night and maybe i get some cool air here at some point all right let's stop rambling and uh, good night for all and play those games